After the Ball by Rosanna Eleanor Leprahan's silence now reigns in the corridors wide, the stately rooms of that mansion of pride. The music is hushed, the revelers gone, the glittering ballroom deserted and lone, silence and gloom, like a clinging pall, o'ershadow the house tis after the ball. Yet a light still gleams in a distant room, where, sits a girl in her, first season's bloom. Look at her closely, is she not fair, with exquisite features, rich silken hair and the beautiful, childlike, trusting eyes of one in the world's ways still unwise. The wreath late carefully placed on her brow she has flung on a distant footstool now. The flowers, exhaling their fragrance sweet, lie. Crushed and withering at her feet. Gloves and tablets she has suffered to fall. She seems so weary after the ball. Ah, more than weary. How still and white, with rose-tipped fingers entwined so tight. A grieved, pained look on that forehead fair. One which it never before did wear. And soft eyes gleam through a mist of tears, telling of secret. Misgivings and fears. Say, what is it all? Why, some April care, or some childish trifle, baseless as air. For the griefs that call forth girlhood's tears would but win a smile in maturer years, when the heart has learned, mid pain and strife, far sterner lessons from the book of life. Ah, far better for thee, poor child, I ween, had thy night been spent in some calmer scene, communing with volume or friend at will, or in innocent slumber, calm and still. Thou wouldst not feel so heart-weary of all as thou tonight thou feelest, after the ball. 